today we will learn how to solve problems on transportation problems to understand this i have taken an example of transportation problem the problem is in this problem they have given the cost for transporting any commodity from the source to the destination let us see how we can solve this transportation problem the question is cost of transportation per unit for three sources and four destinations are given in this transportation problem now to find out initial basic feasible solution there are three different methods number 1 is northwest corner method number 2 least cost method number 3 vogel's approximation method or shortly we call it as vam vam now let us see what the question actually means in this problem we can see the source there are three sources 1 2 and 3 and there are four destinations 1 2 3 and 4 now this matrix actually is trying to say what it is trying to say is to ship a product from the source 1 to destination 1 it is costing about 4 units per piece or per unit from 1 to the second destination it is costing about 2 units from source 1 to ship a product to third unit third destination it is costing 7 units per per unit you know 7 whatever uh, unit you are taking into consideration so much this is the meaning of this matrix and this is also talking about the maximum capacity that this source 1 can supply or it has got a commodities or now total number of products available in source 1 is 250 in source 2 it is 450 and it is in source 3 it is 500 similarly the destination or the places what is the requirement of the destination number 1 destination requires or demand of about 200 units second destination requires 400 units third destination requires 300 units and fourth destination requires 300 units and what we have to observe is the overall total is about 1200 units only if the tot- total of the supply and the total of the demand if it is equal to 1200 units then we call such a problem as a balanced transportation problem if the problem is not equal in terms of the total of the rows and the total of the columns if it is not equal then we will have to add a dummy row or a column respectively where the total is not coming to 1200 units what i mean is supposing if the total of 250 and 450 and the instead of 500 if there were to be say 400 then the total would be 1100 whereas the total of the columns would make it 1200 but the total of the rows are making 1100 if this is 400 so there is a gap of 100 units so it is unbalanced so then we will have to add a dummy row here below here a dummy row with all zero units but the supply will be 100 by doing so the total will be 1200 so this is how we can also do the same to the column if supposing this is 200 this is 400 this is 300 and if this is 200 then this total will become again 1100 instead of 1200 so we may have to add a dummy column here to uh, with 0 and 0 and 0 units here but the total uh, this destination would require 100 units so put together the total would be 1200 units this is how we can make it a uh, we can make it a balanced problem